Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 4th to the 10th of October. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you or may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Pisces, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Right, so Pisces, your challenge is a Six of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Temperance Upright. All right, so your challenge here has a lot to do with the past, okay? So memories, someone coming in from the past, maybe an ex coming back into your life. We're going to clarify the Six of Cups, and we're going to see what the message is here for you in a moment. In the recent past, you have the Fool, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. There is definitely a new beginning here that happened between you and a specific person. We're going to clarify and see. In the present moment, you have the High Priestess, the Death, and the Ace of Wands. There's definitely something here that's ending for you, and there's a new beginning that's happening. We're going to find out um, more about this when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Cups. It looks like in the near future, for many of you, there's new love that's coming in. Uh, looks like you're going to be thinking about it a lot, but this new love has a lot of potential with the Ten of Pentacles. So we're going to find out more uh, in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Temperance, the Star, the Ten of Wands, the King of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Cups. Um, what you don't see coming is the fact that a situation that has been very difficult for you, Pisces, is coming to an end. It has taken a, you know, a while for this to happen. I do see a wish coming true that you have that you, that you want here. Some of you are inquiring about an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. I'm really strongly getting that someone here is not being 100%. Um, honest about their feelings when it comes to you. This could be somebody who's hiding their feelings. They're hiding the fact that they are sad over a situation that possibly came to an end, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that a situation that you've really truly wanted that has taken forever to happen is finally going to happen for you. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. All right, first card we're going to clarify for you, Pisces, is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. A lot of you needed to possibly walk away from someone here who was inconsistent with you. I feel like there was on and off between you and a person that you really cared about. You really believed that you were going to have a long-term commitment with this person. Could have been a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your biggest challenge right now, Pisces, is to um, not allow the past to determine your future happiness. Now, in the recent past, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the world, the Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. Someone here didn't care about your feelings in the past. I feel like you could have expressed to someone that you really cared about them, loved them, uh, but somebody here didn't, like, they didn't really show interest. They didn't really show that they cared. And some of you decided to end this relationship in the recent past and move away, even though there was an opportunity maybe to have a new beginning. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands in the recent past. So 
So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Moon and the Six of Cups. Yeah. So there's definitely something about someone here from the past not being um, completely honest about how they felt about you. This is somebody you really saw yourself in the recent past having a long-term commitment with. But I'm really getting, Pisces, you felt ignored or you felt like this person didn't really care about you in the past. Now, in the present moment, your intuition uh, may be trying to tell you something here with the High Priestess important message. We're going to find out what that is in a moment. But first, I want to clarify the death card. So the death is clarified by the three of swords. You have the death again and the king of pentacles. Something here had to come to an end um, because there was so much pain attached to it. No matter how much you tried to work the situation out, there was just pain after pain after pain. What's interesting here is, is a lot of you are going to be overcoming a heartbreak. And once you do that, there uh, it looks like there's a new opportunity here that's coming in with the Ace of Wands, an offer and a new beginning. Tell me more about this new beginning for Pisces in the present moment. The Ace of Wands is clarified. This is a blank card, so I'll put it to the side and get another one. Okay, so the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Chariot. The uh, You have the Queen of Wands and the Star. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be moving forward to something bigger and better. And this has a lot to do with your goal, your wish. Remember I was saying in terms of what you don't see coming, you know, you're going to be achieving something great here. It's There's something here about a new beginning. There's a wish that you have. You're going to achieve this wish. Um, but a lot of you need to tap into your intuition in the present moment. If you haven't done that already, uh, it looks like there's a very important message that could be possibly coming in when it comes to this new beginning that you're going to have. Tell me more about the High Priestess in the present moment for Pisces. So the High Priestess is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because a lot of you feel stuck right now in the present moment, but it's not going to be like this forever. And it may seem very confusing right now, but you're almost at the end of this confusion. Something here is going to come to an end and there's going to be a beautiful brand new beginning. Okay. So this is what I see in the present moment. In the near future, uh, brand new love. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups in a moment and see what this new love's about. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles first. There could be a child here involved in the near future. Um you know, connected to this new relationship, okay? New relationship or new beginning is gonna happen. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, wow. So you're gonna find some sort of fulfillment and happiness in the near future uh, after making some sort of investment. Some of you are investing into something. It's a new business or a new idea here. It looks really successful. If it's not business or financial related, it could be uh, new love. New love is showing up here. Tell me more about this new love for Pisces in the near future. So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Wow. You're going to have an offer coming in for love. And if it hasn't happened already, it looks like it's going to happen. A lot of you are going to be single, but then there's going to be someone here that sweeps you off your feet that you feel very connected to. And this may lead Pisces to a long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles here. So it looks really promising for you um, in the near future. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Hermit, the Judgment, and the Hangman. Some of you may not take advantage of this opportunity, okay, because of the pain or painful experience, the trauma that you experienced in the past, but that would be you missing out on a very big opportunity, okay? So near future, it looks very promising, but you have to be open to that. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice?
The advice for you, Pisces, is the chariot, the knight of wands, and the devil. What situation do you need to release yourself from in order to move forward? Do you have to release yourself from someone who is toxic? Do you have to release yourself from somebody who has been nothing but a player to you? What do you truly deserve? What is it that you want? You need to ask yourself that. Because the advice here is to continue to move forward. Don't allow the past to hold you back, okay? So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.